Hello everyone, it's Nicole. I'm grateful that I made it back here to Georgia. I had to do it on my own with my three children. Um, got home last night at 11.30 at night. I'm a little bit out of breath today. probably overdid it, but I'm coming online to say thank you to those of you that um, sent me such great um, well wishes, you know, get well soon and everything. It was a experience. Um, out of breath. I know I look a lot better, believe me. I've, I love that I could see my face coming back, but what you don't see is that all this red is just raw flesh, and it just hurts. I'm still out of breath, and I probably overdid it today. I thought that there was some way I was going to be able to go back to work tomorrow. Now I'm wondering if I could go back to work this week right now with how I feel. I am just out of it. And I really don't want the pity. I, I don't. I f I'm happy. I, I went and I had a great week with my kids. And I had a great week with my mom and my dad. And, you know, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with how well it went. I, I have it so good. I really do. And I don't mean to rub it in anyone's face. I know that there's a lot of people out there I don't have the accepting family or the accepting kids and though I've fought some battles I don't fight the battles as much as other people have and I don't know if it's my attitude or if it is just fortune that has been bestowed upon me I'm grateful for where I'm at you know at 46 years old I'm moving forward with becoming who I always felt like I was and coming back from a meeting with my mom and dad and feeling oh my god I'm loved and accepted and living a week with my children as who I am and having them accept me out. I mean, my daughter was out when I was dress shopping and I was standing there modeling the dress for my mom and my daughter looked over and said, you look good, dad, you know? I don't even feel weird about this. If it looks like I'm crying. I'm not being emotional right now. I promise you that. My eyes are tearing from what's going on. I don't want you to think that I'm falling apart on you. And I don't want, like I said, I don't want the pity. I, I'm, I'm a good place. I am in a good place. I do have to say that um, the one fallout of this whole weekend was uh, I didn't get back from my name change hearing. So I had to run around today and go to my attorney um, and get a piece of paper to bring down to the courthouse and refile. Um, so, I don't know, I'm up out again. It's not the worst thing that could happen. I'm still going to be Nicole, no matter what. But, um, I'm, uh, looking back and saying, you know what? I was at the beach in a bathing suit in front of my children who loved and accepted me. I was hit on by a doctor at the hospital, which is kind of awkward since it's never happened to me before. Um, and it was ugly. They were just looking at the original picture. Um... And this is probably the, I would say this is probably the most liberating experience I've had since uh, going to SCC last year. Um, SCC is where my uh, first outing in public um, for any length of time was. Um, and uh, it was also when I uh, was added to my ex and, you know, I had to fight that battle for my children, but... It's what started my full time. It's what started my hard push towards becoming who I truly am. And I want to thank each and every one of you that have signed on, kept watching, sent great comments, sent well wishes, continuously watch my videos. You make it all worthwhile. And when I get the letters that tell me um, I'm hitting home with you, that you felt this way and you were looking for some way to say it and something I said in my video made it come out to you that is that that makes it easier for me to sit here and to spill my own guts to you because think about it I am talking about a lot of personal things that most of you wouldn't talk about in the video and I'm doing it like I said not out of narcissism but out of knowing that when I was in that place, I had nowhere to turn. And maybe by me journaling and me putting my life out there 
it, it helps somebody and that person gets to move forward. I want you to look at the smile and put away the fact that my eyes are tearing because I'm happy. And I'm happy that I'm Nicole. And I'm happy that I'm able to present who I am to everyone out there. And although I've been out like this full time for quite some time, today when I got up and I got off my conference call and had to go out to my therapist and to my attorney's office and I was dressed, I'd have to say this was the first time that I've gone out that I didn't feel like a tranny. I just felt like me. And uh, I think it had to do with being accepted by my parents. And I understand why people look so, um, so deeply for that. And like I said, I'm fortunate. And I don't mean to rub it in anybody's face. I don't. I'm very fortunate, and I know it. I love you, each and every one of you that watch every single um, video, even if you just stop by and watch one in a blue moon. And uh, I'm glad that you're being able to see my metamorphosis here. Maybe somebody is going to help. I hope so. When I look back on that first video, um, HRT letter in hand, and I look at that person who didn't know what was going to go on for the next 11 months, and I look at the person I'm looking at now, you know, I could remember being that person, but I can't relate to that person. So much changes so fast. And that's why I want to re- invigorate or re-push, um, I don't even know how to say this. I just want to restate this. Transition is not something to be run through. It's definitely something to be tiptoed through or crept through. Experience it. Enjoy it. Because things change so fast. Attitudes change so fast, and likes and dislikes change so fast. And uh, I love who I've become, and I hope as you who are transitioning go down your path, you love who you become. Again, thank you. I love you all. I'll talk to you all very soon. I promise. Goodbye.